All right, uh, let's look at the homework six, uh, problem number 27. All right, so uh, it says this. Uh, tall man, uh, a 5.5 uh, foot tall man, walks at the rate of uh, 7 feet per second toward the street light. And the street light is uh, 14 feet uh, high. And at what, what rate is the end of man's shadow moving, of, uh, of course, toward the, toward the street light? Uh, when he is nine feet uh, nine feet away from the base of the light, All right? So uh, let's do that. All right. So we have to uh, give a variable uh, for um, uh, changing quantities. All right. So first thing I would do is uh, I'll probably give a, a, a x for the distance between the street light and uh, the person. All right. So I'm gonna call that x. All right. And then, and also, we are interested in the shadow, the tip of the shadow. So, the distance between the street light and the tip of the shadow, uh, I'm going to call this guy S because it's a shadow, right? Then, we have to come up with an equation relating those two quantities, right? So, uh, first thing I would do is uh, I will probably uh, try to visualize the uh, right triangle here. So, the big right triangle. All right then uh, of course uh, this side is a uh, 14 and uh, this is s and uh, this is a right angle All right then we look at this uh, smaller uh, right triangle uh, which is going to be a similar uh, triangle because it this is uh, also a right triangle and uh, this uh, angle has the same measure because it's a shared angle. And uh, this length is going to be actually S minus X. Right, this corresponds to the height of the person. It's a 5.5. Right. So since these guys, these two triangles are similar, uh, we can do this. Uh, if you look at the ratio between, say, um, S and uh, 14 so ratio of s to 14 is equal to the ratio of uh, s minus x to uh, 5.5 all right then uh, you can see that uh, let's see what's given so the person is uh, walking toward the the street light so the ch rate of change of x with respect to time t is equal to uh, it's going to be negative 7 right because the distance is uh, shrinking so it's a negative 7 uh, when x equals 9 and what we're trying to find is the rate of change of s with respect to t All right so this is what we're looking for all right so uh, we have this and uh, we ha uh, actually first uh, I'm going to actually I'm going to solve for s because it's uh, probably easier that way. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5.5 so that I can get rid of this 5.5 and also 14. Right? So you're going to get the 5.5s is equal to uh, 14s uh, minus uh, 14x. Right? Then uh, I'm going to just solve for s. Uh, so I'm going to, let's see, um, I'm going to subtract the 5.5s and I'm going to add the 14x to both sides. So 14x comes on to the other side, right? All right, 14 minus 5.5s uh, would be uh, 8.5s, right? Then if you divide through by 8.5, then we can isolate um, um, S. So it's going to be 14 over uh, 8.5X is equal to S. All right. Uh, I don't like a fraction of uh, 8.5, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2. So that's going to be 28 and then multiply by 2, 17, right? So uh, S is equal to 28 over 17x, right? So let's take the derivative. 
So if you take the derivative of this guy with respect to t, we get uh, ds over dt. And then we have a 28 over 17. Then derivative x is dx over dt. So I'm taking using the implicit differentiation. All right. Then we know that uh, here, um, dx over dt is negative 7. So you can plug it in here. All right. So we're going to have right, uh, 28 over 17 times uh, negative 7. Right. So this is going to be, right, 7 times 8 is uh, 56, so 6 and 5 there, right, uh, 2 times 7 is 14, so it's going to be uh, 1, 9, so it's going to be negative 196 over 17, right, so this is feet per second, so let's type it in, right, so we have, uh, oh, actually, round to two decimal places, so we have to do that first. All right, so I'm going to bring out a calculator. All right, so we, we want the negative 196 uh, divided by 17 is equal to, all right, it's a negative 11.53, all right, so let's type it in. All right, it's going to be ne negative 11.53. All right, check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.